To write the formula for copper one sulfide, we go to the periodic table and we look up copper, that's Cu, and then sulfide, we're looking for sulfur, that's S. Copper, that's a metal, it's a transition metal, we have this Roman numeral here. Sulfur, that's a nonmetal. So if we have this metal and nonmetal, we have an ionic compound. We need to think about the charges on the copper and the sulfur. It tells us right here that copper, copper one, that means it has a one plus ionic charge. Sulfur on the periodic table, that's two minus. So since this is a neutral compound, these should add up to zero, but they don't. We can change the subscripts though to fix that. And we can use something called the crisscross method. We can move the two here and then the one here. We don't write the one by convention. We can get rid of this. And that's the formula for copper one sulfide. Let's check our work though, make sure we got that right. Copper, we said this one tells us it has a one plus charge and sulfide, we looked up two minus. So I have one S, so one times two minus, that's two minus two of the Cu's, two times the one plus, that's two plus. So those add up to zero, give us a net charge of zero. And this is the correct formula for copper one sulfide. Let's clean this up. And that's it, copper one sulfide, Cu2S. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.